Hi guys, what's up? If you're new on this channel, my name is Emmanuel Akwan and today we're going to be talking about how you can make your very own portfolio as a graphic designer. So stick around and let's go. Alright, so I promised you guys I'm going to show you my portfolio, right? And um, that promise has gone on for like three weeks. So I've kind of been away at uh, NYC camp um, serving Nigeria. So that's actually why I've not dropped this video. And it's three weeks old now, but better late than never, right? Uh, so today we're just going to be diving into um, my own personal portfolio and how you can create yours as well. If you're not following me already, make sure to follow me on Instagram. That's where I also put out a lot of updates all right so let's get into it um so basically we'll be talking about let's uh remind ourselves of what a portfolio is so a portfolio is just basically like a document which shows a collection of your strengths your skills um, and your passions as a designer so first off before you create your portfolio you need to ensure you're putting out your best work um, generally about five to seven projects of um, that you really care about that work you'd like to get and just basically work that you enjoy doing so you always have that at the back of your mind before creating your portfolio i'm sure you're putting out your best work in the document all right so guys so today we're going to be working in adobe illustrator and basically, there are a lot of software um, online platforms as well you can use to create your portfolio. But for today, we're going to be working in Adobe Illustrator. And I'm using CC2020. Um, so I'm going to add the link where you can download this software as well. So basically, for my own portfolio, I used uh, the B5 preset. So you can go to print. And uh, you'll see a lot of presets here. Just click on view all presets. Select uh, the B5. I just use this because I just kind of liked um, the reduced size co when compared to the A4. You can basically use any format you want. Any preset rather. Also make sure it's in the landscape version. Um, orientation and add boards. Generally 30 pages is kind of like a reasonable length for a portfolio. So um, you can just estimate how many pages you're going to use. Your color, you can keep in same way okay, in case you're going to print it in the future. And um, I think that's also, let's create a document. And you can just see all the spreads here. So when um, you've created this, you can now begin to add in your projects, uh, page after page, add board after add board. So right now, um, I'm going to open up my own portfolio. Um, which I created earlier. So I'll open up it in Illustrator and um, all right, so this is my own portfolio. Uh, sorry, let me put it in presentation mode. All right, so first off, um, your cover page is really, really important. So um, I would always advise you to have a simple cover page that just explains, you know, what you do, um, your intro page, basically your skills, your passions. It's also this section of the portfolio is also like an opportunity for you to express yourself. So you can see mine here just says Emmanuel Aquan brand identity designer and the EA, my logo is here. Also, I put the year. So um, over time, um, my projects are going to improve and in different years so it's also ideal for you to put in the year where, where you are making this current uh, portfolio and next up is the about me page so i just put um my state of origin i'm from a quiet bomb state and the companies i've worked for it's just basically a page for you to sell out yourself and i also put out um, my skill sets the fact that I love to work for corporate brands, I love to create logos, style guides, patterns for companies basically. And also my passion just to help with nation building through design. So the yeah, About Me page is also a way for you to sell out yourself and your skills. Next off, um, 
I kind of added this uh, page just for me to express myself more and my passions. And I got this idea from a video which I'm going to add um, on the page right now. Basically just a way to um, sell out yourself, express yourself. So you can see I put this is one of my favorite pictures. I put the fact that I'm a Christian, uh, I'm a logo designer, um, I'm very confident, I use Photoshop, I'm calm, I'm passionate about branding, I'm self-confident. Um, I also put out the fact that I love to study about posters, typography, communication. Also the fact that I'm a CR7 fan. <laughs> so it's just kind of like a page for you to um, speak more about yourself using visuals, which all designers love. All right. So um, next off, we're going into the projects. And this is where I would like to introduce my second tip. And basically, you need to have like a running theme of how you introduce your projects. And it's also ideal for you to give a brief description of your projects at the beginning. So you'll notice uh, as we go on, you're going to see a running theme. I kind of like to put um, the title of the project with, um, let's say, a reduced opacity, just my personal interest, and kind of slicing up the pages left and right. So you can see... Um, an image about the project and then just a brief description so this person was the preferred generation i also put the timeline um, it took about two weeks for me to complete it was just basically a project that had to do with helping young people um, discover their purpose in life and as a uh, designer also i recommend just a tip try to show your process how you came up with um, the final deliverables so for, so for this project um, I had to work on a logo, so I kind of showed the process of how I got that. Feel free to also show sketches as well. Um, here, I'm just trying to expand more the project. And also, you can see the mock-ups and um, just basically um, items we created. Not all these were printed, by the way, but this was the presentation I made to the client. Some of the images from the presentation. And uh, this is my second project, um, Travis. So this was actually from a daily um, logo challenge. If you're following me on IG, you know I've been on a daily logo challenge for a while. And it took me a day to create uh, the logo and identity system for this skin company. And I kind of also showed my process here. Like I said, always show your process. Um, your employer, anyone who you'll be submitting your projects to, will always like to see your process. And you can see I created um, color palette and patterns for the brand skin company and also um, just some um, products. Um, these are some meetings which um, skiers would use when they are on the snow track. And um, also like um, this was to represent a simple web page. And these are kind of things that I love to do, just creating home pages. Um, so I also added that in this project. And the next one in, in my portfolio, this is Wings Awards. Wings Awards is, is um, an award I hold every year in Covenant University where people who have done well across their state are kind of celebrated. So I decided to um, also show this in my portfolio. It's a project that I really enjoy doing. And I had to create an identity system uh, some printed materials like awards, uh, certificates, social media content. And again, I show my process here. Like I said, always show your process. Very important. And just expanding on the color palettes and the gradient that I used. Also, um, I tried to be kind of distinct. I studied um, what the designer for um, this project did the previous year. And I was just trying to bring some more harmony. So I decided to use... An icon set for um, the different categories you can see icon 360 beauty content creation and all that and um, I also got to create some social media content um, which you can also find on the 16th set page it was a really really fun project to work on and um, also these are some of the printed materials um, certificates and um, award cards um, a backdrop and also, um, just another tip, if your project kind of um, has an impact or you can see the results of what you've created in the real world, 
it's also good for you to document that so um, you can see this is actually me here in the picture attending the awards and um, we got to take a lot of photos and it was a really amazing event events and it's just um, a good way to also use for you to showcase that um, your designs also have impact you're not just creating pretty graphics so this was the another project I worked on for um, Covna International Model United Nations where we had to create um, some graphics it was um, really really nice I got to explore using gradient maps um, something I love and also this project this was green care a um, healthcare um, rebranding project for a, a company in based in Lagos so another opportunity for me to express um, my, my thinking creating the logo and all and um, some social media content just basically things I love to work on yes um, another tip also try to use your portfolio to show um, passions you have probably things that you were doing on a daily basis um, like this is from my logo folio these are some um, logos I created on a daily basis some from different projects within the past one to two years so I just decided to showcase it and you can see here just a range of um, logos I created so if you have passion projects if you have things you've worked on the side that you'd love to show your employer or anybody um, your portfolio is a great opportunity to do that and this is also a poster folio so I kind of engaged in a 40 day uh, poster challenge earlier this year I think um, about March April May period and I got to create some cool posters and I also love creating posters as well so I showcase that in my portfolio so also um, ensure to show your passion projects and just for your closing page um, just give a simple concluding message and also drop your contact info in, in case um, your employer or whoever you're showing your portfolio wants to contact you all right so guys um, it's a wrap that is um, just a rundown of how you can create your own portfolio the steps of creating the initial template and just basically some tips that will guide you so i'd love to see you guys portfolio um, i'll also add some links of some useful videos which kind of helped me when i was working on this portfolio um, thank you guys so much for watching if you've not subscribed ensure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can always get more updates i hope to create more videos in the coming year 2022 so also be on the lookout for that thank you guys so much and have a great day stay creative